there. Today I'm going to be talking about using Twitter for research. If you've never used Twitter before, check out our earlier video on the basics of Twitter to get started and then come back here when you're done, okay? Great, let's get started. Social media can be a great source of up-to-date information for when you're carrying out research, especially if it's in a field that's often changing quite rapidly and Twitter is no exception. A really good place to start is seeing if companies, government departments, research organisations or other bodies are on Twitter and then to follow their accounts. That way, if anything new comes out from those organisations that is relevant to your research, you may well find out about it before it appears in the popular press or through traditional journal publishing. For example, if you're looking at environmental pressures in certain countries, following that country's national environment agency is going to be a good place to start. You can also apply this tactic to leading individuals, as well as politicians, CEOs of companies, or heads of large organisations, or researchers working in a similar area to you. Again, you may well get the inside scoop on a lot of new research, and given that researchers are collaborating more and more through social media, you may well be able to not just learn from the individual research themselves, but also from their network, as they may well share other people's work and insights too. As social media moves so rapidly, so too does the information contained within it, so you can be fairly confident that the latest information will probably appear on social media before it does on a formal website and other such spaces. Of course, anything that appears on social media also has to be taken with a pinch of salt, and you should always take care to make sure that the information and facts that you glean from your various sources is verifiable before applying it to your own work. Twitter is set up to find information fairly quickly, and you can start by seeing what hashtags people are using in your research area. Something as simple as hashtag science or hashtag environment works quite well, but there are established hashtags such as hashtag psychom for people interested in science communication and hashtag PhD chat for those needing to share postgrad experiences. Don't forget to take advantage of event hashtags as well, so you can follow along with conferences that are relevant to your research, especially if you can't attend them yourself because they're halfway around the world. You can find hashtags using the search bar within Twitter, but you can also search by keyword, and Twitter will pull together tweets which feature that specific term. As with any kind of searching, try to be as specific as possible, as something like science, won't get as many relevant hits as something like ecotoxicology. And as with any good search, try using synonyms wherever possible, as you can never be quite sure what terminology people might be using at any one time. Once you've started to figure out who is tweeting about what and using what kind of phrases, it might be useful to set up a search that regularly updates so you don't have to keep re-entering your search every day. Well, there are a lot of extra tools out there that can not only help you manage your own Twitter account, but also keep track of all of that information that you've started to collect. One such tool is Hootsuite. Entirely browser-based, so you don't have to worry about losing anything when you move between devices, Hootsuite allows you to set up streams, which are self-refreshing feeds. You can use it with different social media platforms, and I think it works especially well with Twitter. You can also have streams separated into tabs, so you can keep everything organised. When you start using Hootsuite, it will encourage you to set up streams to reflect your main Twitter stream, where you can see everything from your followers. This is useful, but you can also set up streams based on a hashtag, a keyword search, or even mentions of a specific person or organisation that you're interested in. Once set up, the streams will refresh themselves, and you can also delete any that you no longer need just as easily. So, social media as a research tool, just another piece of kit to add to your research toolkit. Questions, comments, feedback, just leave them in the comment section below and see you next time.